Shinkansen is a high-speed railway network in Japan that has the fastest trains running on it. The first express high-speed trains were launched in Japan back in 1964, and they moved at speeds of 210 kilometers per hour. In 2003, a Shinkansen train running on a magnetic cushion set a record speed of 581 kilometers per hour. But that wasn't the track's high-speed limit. In fact, it set an absolute world record for high-speed trains in March of 2015 when the train nicknamed The Bullet hit 600 km per hour. Its speed exceeded 600 km per hour in just 11 seconds and reached 603 km per hour mark at some moment. This number is really incredible. And today, we'll also see a jet-powered train as well as the largest and longest trains, the length of which exceeds 6 km. Hello everyone, in today's video, we'll talk about the most amazing trains from all over the world. Everybody knows what public transport is like. It's not really a pleasure to get into a 6 or 7 a.m. in big cities, if you know what I mean. The fast-moving crowds create much hustle and bustle when it stops, and then hell breaks loose. But that is child's play in comparison with a train in the People's Republic of Bangladesh in South Asia. There are 152 million people living in Bangladesh, almost as many as in Russia, but in an area 155 times smaller than the territory of Russia. Because of the overpopulation, the trains here, running very rarely, undergo real attacks. And here's the marvelous train we're talking about. Here, there's no such thing as an economy class or first class. No ticket inspectors and people board this express train while it's in motion. They sit on the roofs, cling to the sides, to the front and back, and jump from one train car onto another. In the 1930s, in pre-Hitler Germany, the workers in the field of engineering made an attempt to create the fastest train in the world. The result of their work was a futuristic self-propelled car nicknamed the Railway Zeppelin. The railroad miracle with a huge air screw was produced as a one-off only prototype aimed at setting records. It set a speed record for rail vehicles in May 1931 at 225 kilometers per hour. The achievement remained unsurpassed for more than 30 years until the M497 jet-powered train was designed and assembled in 1966, which made it into the history of railroad transport and was nicknamed the Black Beetle. Intended for passenger transportation, the Black Beetle was fitted with two previously used reaction turbines from a B-36 bomber aircraft. During the test, the jet-powered locomotive train set a speed record of 295 kilometers per hour. In the 1970s, the USSR made its first jet-powered train. It got the name High Speed Laboratory Car and was equipped with turbojet engines from a Yak-40 plane and could move at a speed of 250 kilometers per hour. The world's largest train, which was also the world's longest train, was designed in Australia in 2001 for the purpose of carrying large quantities of iron ore. The train consisted of exactly 682 cars pulled by eight diesel locomotives distributed along the entire length. The world's longest train could carry 82,000 tons of ore, and its total length was equal to 7,350 meters. We feel sorry for the poor drivers who had to wait for a 7-kilometer long train to pass. Even a 20-minute video is not enough to show how all the cars pass by. Before that, a train called the Tsar held that record. It was built in 1989 and consisted of 7 diesel and 9 electric locomotives and was only 50 meters shorter than the current record holder. Russia's longest train had 439 rail cars. It was six and a half kilometers long and carried coal from the Kuznets Basin in 1986. Snow removing trains are rarely used and only in those cases when the rails disappear under thick snow cover. In the mountainous regions of the southwest USA, the snow can be as thick as two or three meters or even more. In such cases, a rotary snow plow is used. The first steam locomotive of this kind was produced very long ago, back in 1891, and it was exclusively steam-powered. At the end of the 1890s, one of these was purchased by a railroad company to clear the mountain roads between the ridges of Sierra Nevada. The ancient locomotive was later equipped with a diesel engine drive, but it still uses boiling steam to melt the snow and blow its whistle, which people seem to enjoy. This 15-meter-long dragon can gnaw tunnels in any snow-covered point of the globe. 
even where the snow thickness exceeds 10 meters. The world's oldest train still carrying passengers is the Indian Fairy Queen steam locomotive. It is a museum on wheels. The passengers can still enjoy the ancient rail cars and the steam engine's construction. Its birth date is 1855. A steam train like this was used by the main characters of the fantasy series about Harry Potter to travel to Hogwarts, and by Marty McFly in the Back to the Future trilogy. However, it's a pity that people can only admire it on special occasions. The Hyperloop is a vacuum train project which was envisioned in 2013 by the American entrepreneur Elon Musk. It is a system of tubes elevated above the surface of the Earth. The vehicle itself works due to a magnetic levitation effect while a high vacuum is created inside the tube which allows the transport capsule to move at a very high speed with practically no resistance. There's no train here in the conventional sense. The passengers travel in six-seated capsules sliding in a vacuum. According to provisional estimates, if there is no air resistance, such transport will be able to move at an incredible speed and possibly an astounding 6,000 kilometers per hour. But for now, this is just a theory. Currently, there are several large companies pondering the idea and making tests. If the train was designed with the specifications we previously mentioned, passengers would be able to get from New York to Los Angeles in only 30 minutes.